Hey guys, this is Max from MSS Prod and today we will see a new tutorial about a question. So I've made by the past a tutorial on this channel, MHS Tuts, a French English channel about uh, some classes in Marvelous Designer. So I showed the workflow to export from DAS um, an animation and import it into Marvelous Designer resculpt it into ZBrush and make a quick render into Cinema 4D. So some guys just asked me the question uh, how to directly create animation into DAS and put them into C4D. So this is going to be the topic of today and I will show you two great tips of camera animation. I hope you will enjoy this tutorial. Feel free to subscribe to the channel and watch the English content. You have always the language in the upper right and check out the, the great content about a lot of stuff. If you're new to this channel too, I invite you to join our Facebook page, Motion Designers Community, where we repost a lot of uh, great artworks with um, a friend running this page. And we also have an Instagram, so you can find directly on all channel, uh, the other channel called Motion Designers Community, and you will have all the best renders of our community. And if you want to join our community, we have also a Discord with uh, English threads or stuff like that. So feel free to check out all the links and join us. So let's jump into DAS Studio and then we will jump into C4D to learn how to do this kind of uh, fun animation. So the tricks of today um, is just about uh, go to one pose to another, but in DAS Studio you can also import a pre-made animation or probably use motion capture which is uh, incredible. So if you want to go more in depth, DAS Studio is a free, a free software. So feel free to download it. It's uh, totally free and some content is available for money, but you have also a large amount of free uh, poses, closings, characters and the stuff like that. So when you open DAS, you will have that and probably it will look like this without timeline. If you don't have the timeline there, you can go into window, panes and tick timeline. If you have this, you can click and you will have your timeline right there. And about your content, if you are into smart content, feel free to go to content library and check out all the poses you'll have and you have a lot of things and into poses uh, you have something well, uh, called, um, I think I, I've just destroyed my my <laughs> my bar and go to base mal poses and do not click there because you you will think that you will be lost i do not use a lot uh das studio but you can do great things for posing and i i used it for this character for example for these characters or sometime in in animation so that's a that's a nice software so Let's take one poses, one pose, this one, that kind of angry pose when you go to the supermarket buying beer. Mm, I'm not, I'm not weak. I'm gonna drink all the night. And increase the timeline duration by hitting 100 there. And the range will uh, go up. And let's go at the end, for example, and select the base 20. It's like, oh no, my C4D just crashed. 
and just click here to add another keyframe and you will when you will click play you will have your animation so i've made this animation but i invite you to try different things i use this method to pose my character for uh, the daz the daz stuff which is there but you can also do motion capture and stuff like that uh, into that. So today I, I show you the workflow, but feel free to use it uh, for anything. So when you have your animation, you can also move by yourself members and it looks like, wow, Michael Jackson. When you're happy, just go to file, export and call it like you want. And I will untick that, click to figures, props, animation, and tick allow degraded skinning and allow degraded scaling. Just click accept and your personage will dance Mike Jackson. Wow. Wow. And then jump into C4D. Let's open a new folder. Let's merge your animation called tutorial. Just click OK, and now best day of your life. No. So this is just morphing a morph between two poses. So this is not a realistic animation, or this is uh, only for for fun, you know, and show and to show you the workflow because this kind of crappy at foot, but. It can look well if you do some close animation. So I will show you how I animate my cameras to have smooth uh, camera transition. So take one camera, just think what you will do. So move the focus point if you, if you want. Go into your camera, think about if you want uh, what kind of lens you want and then just think about your next camera move you can go into composition and add some elements to help you with your cam second camera let's go into it and jump into it let's go to the lens let's switch Let's go, for example, for wide angle and let's go at the end. Let's go, for example, right there. No. Let's do some kind of funny image and then just select both of your camera, go to camera transition or camera morph and now it's truly amazing because you will go from one camera to another and why and so tick zero percent and one hundred percent and you will have your animation and the next thing is that you will be able to smooth your keyframes or do different things and if you're not happy with something you can change anything in one camera and it's going to be changed so let's go here for example and switch back to a classic one just go there and everything will be updated and that's a really great way to have a smooth and nice camera animation. Next thing is with the camera transition, you can add more than two cameras by going into camera transition and go to multiple morphs and you can add all the cameras you want. And that's truly amazing. So this is very basic stuff, but 
I think a lot of people are not aware of this and just use it in all the films you will do because that looks nice. I will show you quickly how I've made my render. So take, taking Octane Render, which is really nice. I use it for a moment. And switching to paste tracing, go with less sample, adding some chai clump, sometimes adding a bit of current ratio for animation because it will go faster. Just taking an HD light. So that's my workflow. That's not a tutorial about Octane. I've made a lot, 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 lot of tutorials about Octane, even full French formations. Uh, not here, but on some French website, more than six hours of training. So I'm done. I'm done with the pain. Let's use HD lighting with a different studio. I think this one is good. You can use some tricks there. And I create a material. So I will show you something. Sometimes you, you will have some bugs with uh, all your material sets. And that's kind of strange, but it happens sometime with Octane Render and the tips. Because yeah, if you see me changing the color, for example, in red, nothing happened here. Just switching the there, nothing happened. Send back the render, nothing happened. And don't break bones in your head, like, okay, nothing happened. The short tips is just to create another object, apply your material to this object, and then apply your material to your character, for example, and it will work. So that's the uh, Quick tips, but that work. If you do not have the problem, you you don't have the problem. Okay, so just delete the cube and take the time to create something fun, probably with different kind of thing, let's add a bump. Uh, you have a lot of cool noises into C4D, so check out. Let's go into settings, C4D shader, just increase sometimes the size to have something cool. And just have fun by making a lot of cool animation with Daz. I have a lot of uh, friends having and making fun with uh, with this and you will be able to create all kind of animation if you do mocap it's it's going to be even better and this kind of stuff works really well you can produce a wall wall film of one minute with great environment animation just do 2,000 2, like and uh, views and just create a Daz or Mixamo character dancing. The success will be here. So see you next time, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. And I will do next time tutorials on how to import object sequence and make cool animation with form and probably plexus